Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knights here, and today we're doing a review on the Flying Circle a Large Field Pack. Kind of. And I say kind of because I had one of these bags, but the more well-known modern version initially agrees. Well, the two main bags I used while I was enlisted that wasn't issued, the first one being the Sock Sandpiper Bug Out Bag, and this was the other one I got in green shortly after my trip to Hokkaido because a uh, sergeant on the trip had one, and it was pretty neat. So there's a few differences about this bag that, um, well, one, I haven't saw pictures of it anywhere online, so when this showed up, I was like, well, this is uh, definitely different. So the um, Flying Circle Large Field Pack is basically a more modern take on the Alice Pack, however, without a frame. So no frame, okay, kind of sucks, because you, you can carry a lot, but you can't carry too heavy. In addition, this bag is absolutely ginormous, so you can fit a lot. So what I was using the green one for, military-wise, was carrying extra gear that I didn't want to carry in other bags. But the uh, what I used it for later was I could hold literally anything and everything I could ever need to take anywhere. So it went with me to the uh, trip to Tokyo Sabage Park, and I've used it numerous times for airsoft, just because I could fit the plate carrier, the helmet, and everything I could possibly need inside this bag, and then you just throw it on a shoulder and you're good to go. Literally anything and everything you need. Kind of a reason Alice packs were a big deal, and remain a big deal to this day. Although they have, well, you know, frames, and the frame makes a huge difference. So, what do we got going on? There's a few things that are going to be different. I did order a actual Flying Circle large Alice pack, the modern one, so we'll do a comparison video when that gets in. However, I kind of wanted to cover this. So there's a lot of things that they kept with, for one, you got these same straps, so those are just sewn into the top up here. There's a pocket, you can conceal them in here, or at a hydration source too, if you so choose. It's got a little Velcro and a button there, so that's kind of nifty. And um, the thing, the big thing, that I think that's missing, that apparently wasn't included in the original, but was a big deal on the more modern one, is there's no waist strap. The waist strap helps out a lot on transferring a lot of the shoulder weight onto the hips and making the bag easier to carry especially when it doesn't have a frame. The top pouch here, or I guess the lid or whatever you'd call it, it's got the little um, sewn in pieces here so these straps don't go flying around. And on the inside here there's a little velcro thing so you can put any maps and stuff in there. Now this thing does have a water resistant layer to help keep water out and keep all your stuff in the inside safe. Water resistant, not waterproof. I wouldn't yeet it into the ocean, but you can always fill it with uh, waterproofing bags and things will be okay. So the newer version's got Molly up here and you got a little nameplate, so that's pretty neat. On the inside you got, well you got your little um, core frame set up. This is really hard to get a picture of. There's zippers on the sides, a little pencil notepad set on this front piece. And if you reach down and grab hold, you'll find the little Flying Circle Bags logo. Which was the only way I could find out this wasn't like some replica knockoff because I was kind of suspicious initially. It's got the website. So you got to fit your main stuff in here. Off on the sides, these ones are a lot sh uh, more small and shallow than the uh, larger, more like rook uh, towers on the sides of the uh, official one that they show online everywhere. So these are like little zipper pockets for small amenities. And of course you got your three big old pockets on the front to fit your... Uh, small immediate access stuff. And then you got another one of these uh, things on the side over here. So these just open up like so and they got a little box shape to them so you can fit a few small amenities on the sides, more amenities up on the front, and then the majority of your stuff in the large body. On the bottom you do have this um, rougher, more durable material so when you're sitting it down places or throwing it around it helps keep the material clean, protects the bag ultimately. And as you can see you can fit a good chunk of stuff in these bags. So that's my favorite thing about them. So really simple, pretty to the point. Now this one, another thing that's missing was also got these little points here that you can like Alice clip things in if you so choose. So like a small modification option. The big thing that's missing however is that these straps here don't have the little uh, Velcro piece on the end so you can adjust it as needed. So you're going to have to tape these. And even on the uh, clips down here, these are also going to be taped so you don't have 
like you know jellyfish tentacles hanging off your body loose and insecure and nasty so cool bag i like the tan one the green one was olive drab it didn't look bad but i think i like the design of the tan one a bit more because i don't know probably because i grew up in a desert but also tan and well tan and black tan and black is like the gen one i guess brown and black but still is like that gen one kind of a gucci feel to it because now everything you're gonna get like brown buckles and brown clips everywhere so Getting the brown and black combination is pretty sexy. And this one's pretty mellowed down in comparison. So I'll probably, um, I do like this one. I'll definitely use it. But I think the other ones are gonna get more use because you got the side towers that you can fit a bunch of large things in. And then you also got the molly on the sides of those that you can mount extra stuff to. So all in all, it's a really neat and useful bag. Let's go ahead, get this clipped in here. So yeah, how would I use this? Um, if you're doing short hikes or you're carrying a lot of volume but not a lot of weight that's the uh, key thing out there right if you're carrying a lot of weight you want a frame and it could be a smaller bag if you're carrying a lot of volume this will fit a lot of things i'm sure you can get your sleeping system and extra boots and everything in there and carry it just fine it's gonna be a bit i mean you're not gonna carry as much weight as you would like to but you'll be able to carry a lot now without the waist belt on this one that's also going to further limit its uh, load bearing capacity, but it's not bad. And more importantly, it's got that old school Desert Storm feel, which I think is what uh, really does it for me. So cool bag, neat, massive, and you can use it for all sorts of stuff to carry anything and everything you might need. So all I got to do now is uh, tape these down. And when the official Flying Circle bag gets in, we'll have another video to kind of like compare and contrast those. So. Cheers everyone, stay chill and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.